Hello, this is Kevin, Danny, and Sam, and we created an agent that can strategically play the card game Hearts. Our goal is to implement an agent that can play the card game Hearts better than random. Hearts presents a challenging task for our agent. There is inherent uncertainty in the actions of other agents, and there is a massive state space. We will go over the problem, related work, approach, results, and analysis. The general problem is our agent wants to avoid taking points while playing. There are many possible strategies to achieve a low score, so there is flexibility regarding which decision should be made. Our agent must make decisions based on educated guesses of what the other agents plan to play, while pushing its own strategy for accumulating the fewest points. Despite the game being somewhat niche, there have been some approaches in the past to build an AI agent for it, especially in other students' projects from various universities. For example, a fellow student at Stanford used deep Q learning to limit the search space of cards. Additionally, there was a group in the University of Alberta that used a tree search method involving temporal difference. These two strategies were similar in that they focused on reducing the amount of exploration needed to find the optimal policy. Our work involves a similar objective, but achieves this through the use of MDPs specifically, which to our best knowledge has not been done. In terms of software, we built our game engine in Python and did the modeling in Julia, in which we used the Julia POMDP package. For our approach, we began by investigating modeling hearts as a partially observable Markov game. This model has all the components we need, including uncertain states, and also a well-defined action space, which is just the cards you can play from your hand. However, the POMG model can get computationally unbearable with such a large state space, since we may never finish computing Nash equilibrium. We want to simplify this further, but how do we do this? One idea is to make assumptions that convert the model from a POMG into a POMDP. The main difference between the two being that the POMG requires us to account for a joint action space. In other words, the actions that other agents take with their own free will. We can simplify this into a single action per decision. In some games, this can be very detrimental. In hearts, experienced players can have clear heuristics for predicting what an opponent might move. So we use our domain knowledge to get rid of this action vector. However, the POMDP has a shortcoming in that it has 10 to the 41 unique states because the game of hearts is so complicated. That's more memory than all of Google has, so we have to shrink this. One idea is to abstract the model further by assuming it as an MDP instead of POMDP. This requires us to remove any uncertainty about the states. We can assume our three opponents are a single monolithic opponent that contains all the cards in the deck. This prevents us from reading into specific psychology of gameplay, but our agent can still make good decisions without knowing psychology. So this shrinks the state space quite a bit further, but it's still really big. So what can we do? It turns out that nearly all of the possible states are actually not reachable. First, you start out with one specific hand, which negates all other possible hands in the state space. Not only that, but there's only a handful of legal moves per trick. And using this knowledge, we prune the state space by pre-computing reachable states given a specified number of look-ahead moves. And we found that with six move look-ahead, the state space becomes pretty manageable. To solve our MDP, value iteration actually does not take too long because our transition function is deterministic since it's a card game. We experimented with several solvers and our best results came with value iteration. And of course, our MDP model does not encode all the rules of hearts because we abstract away a lot of the complexity of other agents. Therefore, we also created a separate game engine to referee the game, which keeps track of points, cards, turn order, and the moves that other agents have played. We then feed the information available to our agent so that it can update its MDP and make good decisions. To analyze our model, we use our game engine to make our model play against other agents. These other agents are random, meaning they will just play an arbitrary legal move in the game of hearts. We simulated 20 games of hearts, and our agent won first place 17 times and second place 3 times. It never even placed worse than second ever. This is a 85% victory rate, and when we performed a one-tail t-test on this distribution, the p-value was nearly zero, meaning there is statistical significance that our agent is better than random. Another metric we looked at was total points. If all agents were equal, we'd expect each to gain around 25% of the total points. However, over the course of 20 games, our agent was able to get just 12% of total points, completely outclassing its competitors. 
As part of our analysis, we want to make sure that our agent plays reasonable moves. So here are examples of actual moves our agent played that we looked through. In the first trick, agent zero starts, and it's a round of some clubs, and there's no risk so our, our agent plays the king of clubs and takes the trick, and there's zero points. We lead with the three of hearts, which forces all the other agents to play hearts, and then agent one takes it with four points. Agent one leads, and our agent knows that there's a risk of the queen of spades, so it plays a low spade, drawing out the queen of spades from agent zero, and agent zero takes 13 points. Agent zero leads, and this is a round with a bunch of clubs, and our agent plays the last club available in the hand. And then agent zero leads with another club again, but our agent doesn't have a club. And so instead of playing a random move, our agent was able to compute that it should play the king of hearts, the highest hearts, which ends up going to agent two, which took the trick, leaving our agent with zero points still. In summary, we were successfully able to build a strong hearts player agent using MDPs. We were pleasantly surprised to learn that MDPs could perform so well in this complex game. We also learned how important the state space representation is for performance, both in terms of efficiency and accuracy.